let's solve the example and put all the steps together to get a more concrete idea of what I have talked about. We discussed the steps for testing hypothesis. Let's do one by one each step to reach a conclusion and see how things work together. Here is an example on your screen. I will read it through and you have to read very carefully because first of all, we have told you that you have to information extract what is given to और क्या चीज हमने फाइंड आउट करनी है अ रिसर्चर वुड लाइक टू इन्वेस्टिगेट द इफेक्ट ऑफ प्रीनेटल अल्कोहल एक्सपोजर ऑन बर्थ वेट अ रैंडम सैंपल ऑफ एन 16 प्रेग्नेंट रैट्स इज ऑब्टेंड द मदर रैट्स आर गिवन डेली डोजेस ऑफ अल्कोहल एट बर्थ वन पप इज सिलेक्टेड फ्रॉम ईच लेटर टू प्रोड्यूस अ सैंपल ऑफ एन 16 newborn rats the average weight for the sample is mean is 15 grams and the researcher would like to compare the sample with the general population of rats it is known that the regular newborn rats not exposed to alcohol have an average weight of mu is equal to 18 with the distribution of weights is normal with the standard deviation or sigma is equal to 4 so a lot of information is given in this one example. What kind of information is given? You have mu given. It's a very big thing that population you know that its mean is 18 grams. Mu is 18. You have standard deviation given. And you remember that when you have mu or sigma given, so you can simply go to the normal distribution and find out what we, you want to find out, find the z and then interpret the information accordingly. अब इसमें हमें n भी दिया हुआ है और हमें सैंपल का मीन भी दिया हुआ है व्हिच इज 15 ग्राम और क्या इंफॉर्मेशन हमारे पास है मेरे ख्याल से वो वही इंफॉर्मेशन है सो वी हैव n साइज वी हैव सैंपल मीन वी हैव पॉपुलेशन मीन एंड वी हैव पॉपुलेशन स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन फर्स्ट स्टेप क्या था मैंने बताया था टेस्टिंग हाइपोथेसिस में वी विल स्टेट द हाइपोथेसिस बोथ नल एंड अल्टरनेटिव so here we have stated the null hypothesis states that exposure to alcohol has no effect on weight, birth weight, no effect. This you can statistically bhi likh sakte hai ki mu jo hai, that is equal to 18. Yani jitna average weight uh, newborn rats ka hai, utna hi hai. Aur iska research hypothesis, yani H1 hum banayenge, that is, the alcohol exposure does have effect on the birth weight. Or it can statistically be written that mu is not equal to 18. You can also make it directional because the mean of the sample ka jo mean aaya tha, wo 16 aaya, which is less than 18. But it is better that you keep it non-directional and you say that it is not equal to 18. But yes, if, if there is a strong evidence that alcohol dene se uh, new natals ki birth weight jo hai wo reduce honge to phir aap usko directional uh, bhi bana sakte hain so second hamara step tha select the alpha level humne hypothesis form kar liye null bhi alternative bhi now the second step is that the alpha level of humne maine bataya tha ki mostly hum 5% alpha rakhte hain yani hum usme a critical region 5% rakhte hain aur uh, let's do it with the 5% risk of committing type uh, 1 error. Third step tha, set the decision criteria by locating the critical region. You have normal curve draw karna hai aur uska critical region mark karna hai just like this. You have a non-directional hypothesis which means that you are using both the tails. You can't say greater. You can bhi aa sakta hai, bhi aa sakta hai. So, draw the normal curve Mark the critical area which is rejection region and then mark the acceptance region 95% probability, high probability value for the acceptance of the null hypothesis. And after that, you have to find out the value of the table from the table. And that's what we learned in the last lecture that we have to find out the mean from here and we have to find out the corresponding z ki value find out karni aur ye hame zubani yaad honi chahiye ki 95% two tail ke upar z ki value plus minus 1.96 i so we have marked the decision criteria we have calculated the 
critical value, the test value, which is the Z test, and we have marked our rejection region as well as acceptance region. और हमने Z score भी उसका लिख लिया है. और तीसरा step हमारा क्या है? Collect the data and compute the test statistic. और data हमने already collect कर लिया. एक letter letter का मतलब है कि वो जितने भी बच्चे एक ही वक्त में जितने उसके होते हैं, जैसे 16 का इसने sample size दिए तो so, we have collected the sample and we have said that it is N16 and when every mother gave alcohol to her mother, then after that, the birth weight was calculated that it was mean 15 grams. We have a stable value given, that is 1.96 and we have compared it to this table value, now we have to calculate Z find out. Calculated and calculated Z formula you know which is mean minus mu divided by या दे sampling distribution of means कि हम करते हैं sigma over n under root values put करेंगे आपका sample का mean है 15 grams और आपका population का mean है 18 grams आपकी sigma उन्होंने population का four दिया हुआ है और आपका जो n है that is 16 आप इसको calculate करेंगे तो कितना आ जाएगा? 16 का अंडर रूट लेंगे तो 4 हो जाएगा और 4 डिवाइडेड बाय 4 करेंगे तो 1 हो जाएगा और 15 में से 18 माइनस करेंगे तो ये आ जाएगा माइनस 3 डिवाइडेड बाय 1 और माइनस 3 को 1 करेंगे तो वो हमारा Z कैलकुलेटेड आ जाएगा माइनस 3 सो यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड द Z वैल्यू नाउ यू विल फाइंड आउट कि माइनस 3 कहां फॉल करेगी this is the acceptance for null hypothesis and this is the rejection for null hypothesis. So, aapki minus 3 of course aapki is area mein fall karegi if it is a minus 1.96. Aur ye area kaun sa hai? This is a critical region which means this is a rejection region for the null hypothesis. And the fourth step is make a decision. So, aapne calculated value dekh liye z ki. Aapne usko compare karna hai table value se and we saw that our calculated value is falling in the rejection region uh, which is a rejection region for null hypothesis therefore we conclude that our research hypothesis hai, which is saying that uh, population ka jo new newborns ka weight 18 grams hai, uh, that is um, not true rather it is not equal to 18 or is tarah se hum usko karenge. so just try to link it everything with it कि कैसे हमने bit by bit step by step we started with the uh, kind of calculating z normal curve area under the normal curve sampling distribution and then testing a hypothesis on the same normal curve defining the critical region calculating the test value and then making a very uh, objective decision कि हाँ हमारे sample की जो calculation आई है वो वाकई सही है और नल हाइपोथेसिस हमारा जो है वो सही नहीं सो वी विल रिजेक्ट द नल हाइपोथेसिस एंड वी विल फाइंड अ सपोर्ट फॉर द अल्टरनेटिव हाइपोथेसिस दैट मीन ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन इज नॉट इक्वल टू 18 ग्राम्स